Hi everyone, uh, as promised I have managed to get Windows 8 on the 6120 running uh, very nicely indeed. Um, I will apologise in advance for my accent, my Scottish accent, it's not the easiest to understand for most of you but I do have uh, various things here that may help you um, if you are having problems getting Windows 8 working on this. Um, I did notice that the best thing to do was to make when you had Windows 7 on this was to make the backup disk with all the applications and settings disk um, which made things a lot easier to get everything to work on Windows 8. As you can see straight away I've just booted up the machine keyboards came up straight away um, and obviously you've got the Windows 8 lot. Now you can you can use this keyboard, no problem to log in or you can just use the normal keyboard, no problem, and you can log in, and there we have Windows 8, no problem, Everything, everything's working, there's the normal apps as always, as you've probably seen there, the keyboard just popped up there, now I put on a black skin, just a black, basic black skin which I made on paint, uh, and I just tend to think, I don't know why, um, but it has affected the battery a, a, a wee bit, but just enough to give you that extra 10-15 minutes. Now, there we go, desktop. Now, with the keyboard, I had, I did have some issues at the beginning getting the, the track pad working. Um, you'll probably notice as well, that up here, the actual volume the actual symbol is missing but it does still work no problem at all there's no queries or and as long as you hit that it does mute it and obviously that does unmute it as you can see or you can actually just tap that like normal and unmute it either way it works um, also your your settings works no problem at all all the settings are there everything works as you can see if I just go to skin it's just it's actually an Acer's, uh, I can't zoom into that actually, but it's just a standard black, I thought it was paint I used, it was actually a wallpaper I think I used actually, thinking about it now. Um, so, can't get that back in focus. Hold on, there we go. There we go, perfect. Let's see we go, so this, this works up here, no problem. Everything works. I've got no problems with anything on here at all, whatsoever. There was people talking about the phantom touches that go along the screen, all the wee buttons up and down left. I have had that twice, and it's to do with the drivers, is what I've found out. Um, it was to do with the VGA driver, which is what, when you install Windows 8, I think, or even Windows 7, it does an update for a VGA driver, which for some reason does affect this. I find out if you use the original driver, which uh, was on the original install, or just backdate the driver, it seems to clear that issue quite quickly. Now, the Acer Ring, um, this took a wee bit of getting used to or even getting it work. I don't even know if sometimes it's a hit or a miss. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I fail on that, the keyboard always comes up. There we go, that's it now. Um, everything works on this. So you get a touch photo, which works. Just take a wee while. But bear in mind, I just booted this up. Once you've went into each one of these apps, applications, and then come out and go back in, it obviously loads a lot quicker. There's your touch photo. And as always, you would just cancel that. Let's get my pictures. I've not got much on this just now because I've just not long with a lot of toying managed to get everything to work. Let's see if I can get this to come up again. There we go. Um, now, again, I'm original. Even on Windows 7, I had problems with Social Jogger. Um, to be honest, I just don't want to use it. I'm not going to use it because obviously on here. You've got your Facebook, you've got everything on here which has got live tiles which updates anyway, so I don't really see the point of social jogger. And I went to a lot of hassle getting to work now, I realise it's that's something I don't really use. 
Uh, touch photo again, don't even use it. Touch music, I've used that twice. In the video, I've used that, I don't know, maybe three times, if that. Um, my journal's very good, but again, I'm not going to, I've not used that yet. Scrapbook, it works as well, no problem. As you'll see in a minute. Now, I'm, I think on my third attempt to install Windows 8, this just didn't work at all. Either did most of the other ones, but I have got these working quite well. Um, just a lot of trial and error, basically, but I have got it all working fine. So there's a picture of my cat. Bring my cat over. Let's patch it in it twice, but... There you go. So again, everything works fine. You can manipulate that, do whatever you want. You can draw. And it's, it's very quick, I mean, it's, to be honest, it's actually a lot quicker than what it was on Windows 7. Now, I've had to sit and do this myself and work this out myself, purely because, as many forums state, um, Acer's not very forthcoming with help with regards to this machine, but the reason I bought it was purely to see what it can do and obviously just to see what Windows 8 would be like to screens, and I find it very, very good. Now, what I managed to do was... You can bring up here, obviously, let's see, Google for example. You can bring up Google, no problem, up there. I'll just load that, there we go. You can search, obviously it's got all, I don't know, rakes of different stuff here. So it brings up rakes, uh, and it works really well. Um, again, to close, you just drag down from the screen and away it goes. But down here, if I've got this up here and down here, I think, you know what, I'd rather play one of the touch games. So we just, and it moves obviously down to this screen to which point I can then. And there's all the apps here. So your touch browser, touch music, window manager, even the iCam, all that sort of stuff. But it's all working no problem. So I was quite impressed with this. When I finally got got it working, um, the one thing which did have a lot of problems with which I kind of liked and didn't think I would miss it but I did but I ended up getting it working was the touch browser obviously over the the two screens which I thought was um, at first I thought this isn't very good but as you can see there I just went to input an address I thought I'll do it this way let's go for BBC News and obviously Page. Now as that loads, obviously we then just close the keyboard again and I'll go to the full, the full screen again. That's BBC News, obviously, website. So I managed to get that working as well. There we go. Now, this is the reason why I got it working. It's purely because I made a CD, but I'm going to try and extract an ISO of this, but this is just basically the applications and recovery disk which came or give you that option when you had Windows 7. Obviously Acer are charging for this disk, so if you do need it or you need any help or advice or anything at all to do with this machine, because I have thoroughly started to the ground up on this. I've tried Linux on it, I've had Windows 7 on it, I've had Chrome OS on it which was not good. It was okay, but it was a lot of a lot of issues with it. But I uh, put the keyboard back on. But as you'll see in a minute, this will open up, and if I click on this, and I just hit open the floor. If I did that wrong, sorry. If I go to, it'll come up. Yes, and you'll see. Without this, you really are stuck. Here we go, so it comes up this, which is obviously the CD that you made when you had Windows 7 on it with the recovery stuff. And you tend to find that once this goes up, you'll have like so all your applications which you need, like the touch, the arcade touch. Um, if you scroll down the bottom, you've got, uh, where is it now? Camera touch. That one there, the Cypress touch, that there is what makes the keyboard work. A lot of people have installed it, can't get the keyboard to work, or it's quite slow, or it freezes. 
and I was at it for about maybe four hours, then realised oh, I haven't installed this Cypress Touch. As soon as I t installed that, instead of hitting the keyboard and getting a ding 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 noise, it actually then was responsive and worked. Um, a lot of these I've not installed, all I focused on was as soon as you install Windows 8, you then want to install the VGA driver straight away. And what that VGA that there, what that actually does is then tells the computer that there's two multi-touch screens and when you find that once you install it and restart, it does a lot of flicking, it does comes up window manager and then it automatically sorts out the screens. And then obviously you install the the touch you've got the actual application suite which I think is at the top. So I'm yeah, there is it the application suite, it's got all an arcade touch application suite and there's another one as well in amongst all these. And they basically do all your like your device control things like that. But what I tend to find is the order you install them. Now I can't go over that just now because it'll take some time. But if you want to know, just drop me an email or a bit of comment and I'll show you what way or what order to install them. And as you can see here as well, people are having problems with this, but this is working no problem as well. Obviously you can switch the back off or on everything works, got your brightness as well. So everything's working, it's just been hard work getting there, but now that I've got there, this is a very good laptop, I'm very impressed with it. Yeah, and I've got it working and I've got a few different things, but for example, if I put on Opera uh, browser in the top window, as you can see there we go, as always on XDA for Android, and then come down to here, I'll go right, okay, I've got that up there, but I want to look at something else, I can come down to here. Type in, I don't know, let's go for... Now that's the thing, I forgot to say that. If you're down here, and you're up here, <laughs> obviously, and you're doing between the two, sometimes this will work with the keyboard automatically pop up windows, otherwise, you have to put this icon on your desktop, so when you click on that, it comes up here. It only happens in some apps, and some of them it does, some of them it doesn't. There you go, so I've got eBay down here, so I can scroll through eBay up here, plus also do the same up here, it's the same with video. If I went into the documents, I went to, I don't know, what could I do here actually? Got my pictures for example. They're all different, I can actually browse through these no problem and using all other, it's, it's just very very good. And as you can see there, because I went into the Windows 8, this thing goes blank. And if I do the same again, you see what happens again, it just switches over. So it's, it's taken a long time getting there, but it's, it's been working very, very well. I'm impressed with it. There's a lot of people out there that have fed up and sold this machine. I just persevered and now I've got it working very, very well. If there's any questions, like I say, just drop me a, or even just add a comment and reply as best I can. I am going to try and get, uh, extract an ISO or make an ISO copy of this and upload it on some sort of sharing site like Mega Uploads, new site that he's launched after he's been out of prison. Yeah, out of his investigation, probably because I do have a account already, I signed up straight away, so I'll try and extract this ISO and put a link in eventually in the comments so you can then go and download this ISO, burn it to disk, install your Windows 8 and obviously I'll give you a guide of how to and what order to install the touch software and the drivers in order to get this work as fluent as you can see here with what I've managed to set up. Other than that, it's very, very good. And uh, thanks for watching, please comment or like. Thanks now, cheers.